This is an extract from the Leader Coronavirus Daily podcast by The Evening Standard and hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for it on your podcast provider. Under the pseudonym of Robert Galbraith, J.K. Rowling has dropped her new novel, The Fifth in the Cormoran Strike series, and walked straight into another row over alleged transphobia. An early review of Troubled Blood claimed its moral is never trust a man in a dress. Miss Rowling has been a high-profile sceptic on transgender rights, but the book is nearly 1,000 pages long. Is it really all about that? It's out today in the Evening Standard's Vicky Frost's actually read it. Vicky, is it, as J.K. Rowling's opponents claim, transphobic? The controversy around this book sort of kicked off with the Telegraph review that characterised the book as um, having a moral that seems to be never trust a man in a dress. And I think we can be really clear that that is not the moral of this novel. However, I do think that there are some questions, perhaps for some readers of this book. Um, You know, JK Rowling has spoken about sex and gender in a way that some people have really characterized as transphobic. And they may read her decision to have a serial killer who uh, cross-dresses in order to gain the trust of his female victims Um, It it would be unsurprising if some people didn't read that um, in a certain way. And I don't know that you can necessarily split the work from the author. I think that initial sort of furore kind of presumed that the serial killer was absolutely the story in the centre of the book. And actually, he's not. And also, you know, the references to him wearing women's clothing um, are are, are very slight, actually. So it's not it's not the um, central premise of the book at all. But equally, I wouldn't be surprised if, um, you know, depending on your views of of what she said, whether you could read into it. Would it even be possible for J.K. Rowling to release anything without people going through it line by line, looking for confirmation of their view, regardless of what side they are on the transgender debate? You know, I don't think Twitter is um, a really great supportive place to be. I mean, I don't think the pandemic's made that any better either. So um, I don't know. I I know that a lot of people, a lot of people who grew up with Harry Potter books and who have held them very close to their hearts, that's a sort of generationally below me, I'm not quite in that generation, were very hurt by uh, her her remarks. So I'm I'm not sure how they relate to her as an, an author now. I do think, you know, when cultural figures do say things that you very vehemently disagree with um, or take standpoints that you feel aren't defensible, then that does change your relationship with their art a bit, I think. And it does make you look at passages differently. The big question of Vicky is, is it any good? It's certainly, it's very long. Oh, it's very long. Very, very long. thousand pages long almost. Um, You know, one of those where you're sort of, it's not that comfortable to read it in hardback, to be honest. You're sort of trying to prop it up somehow. So is it any good? I, I'm not actually a massive Rowling fan. I, you know, I didn't grow up reading them, and I don't think her writing is brilliant. But she is a good storyteller. And I do think the um, strike books are, are, are decent, actually. I'm a, you know, I love a crime novel. I love a crime thriller. And I find... Um, Cormoran and Robin, a really compelling double act. And I think char- the characters are really well written. On that basis, this is a good novel, right? Because she manages to take those characters on a really interesting journey. And I really enjoy watching them develop. Um, and, and, you know, and Robin actually, you know, for an assistant, she would be in an assistant role, is, is a good character particularly as well. And it's helped by some fantastic uh, on-screen uh, portrayals of them from Tom Burke and um, Holiday Granger. So they kind of add to you wanting to be on side with them. So on that side, the novel's great. On the plotting side, it isn't actually. So this is them taking on their first cold case. It's a a case of a a GP who walked out of her Clerkenwell surgery 40 years ago and just disappeared into thin air. It needed a really good edit. There were far better plotted crime novels out there and, it is, it is. I mean, it, you did see it with the Harry Potter books as well, right? They got longer as the series progressed. But people become too big for you to edit, perhaps. I don't know. I don't work in books. But you slightly feel like maybe that's what happened here, possibly. <laughs>
Search for the Leader Coronavirus Daily on any podcast provider to hear more from the podcast.